Today I'm going to show you how to make this nice shoulder cover up. You can wear it over the shoulder like this, just loose, or you can tie it. Or you can use it to combine it with the back and make it into a little blouse. Easy, simple to make using only two stitches. This is the materials you're going to need. Acrylic yarn. This is worsted, size number four. You can pick whatever color you want. And a medium-sized crochet hook. Let's get started. First thing what we want to do is make a slip knot. To do that, we wrap it around our fingers once. We cross it around the back. Take the tail end, feed it through. Insert our crochet hook and pull. So now we have a slip knot, we want to make our chain to the width of our throw. So that just, and it all depends on how wide you would like yours. So let's just make some chain. So I've chained up 50, so I'm going to add um, five more to that. Four. I actually added four more, so 54, because I have to turn around and that gives me the turnaround point. So I've chained up 54 from my shawl and now I'm going to hook the yarn over and insert into the second, third, so into the third chain. Pull the yarn through once, hook my yarn, pull it through twice, hook my yarn, pull it through two. That's a double crochet. So this row we want a double crochet. So we hook a yarn, insert into every single stitch along the chain and we're going to go through two and then go through two. So hook up a yarn, insert into our chain, hook it, pull it through once, hook it, pull it through two loops, hook it, pull it through two. So let's double crochet this whole row. So hook up a yarn into our chain, hook up a yarn, pull it through once, hook up a yarn, pull it through two, hook up a yarn and pull it through two. Now that I've turned my work around, I'm going to chain up four. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to pick up my yarn and insert into the second stitch underneath the V. And I'm doing a double crochet. So that's the stitch that we're using. We're double crocheting, but we're going, we're double crocheting into every second stitch and chaining one up between. So chain up one, hook up a yarn, skip first and into the second stitch under the V and do a double crochet. Again, chain one, pick up a yarn, skip one and into the second V, double crochet. That is the pattern all the way along and it gives us, so chain up one, pick up a yarn, skip one, going into the second and double crochet. So this is how it looks and we're going to be doing all the way across. I've come to the end of my row, just doing my last stitch, so chain up one, inserting it in here and doing our double crochet. Okay, so now we're going to turn around and chain four. And hooking our yarn and now it's a lot easier because now you don't have to go every second we just want to match all our posts so just find your posts and of course it should be in the second one but you have to kind of match the post so if you screwed up on one it doesn't matter this is where you have to make it good so chain one and under the post because you're double crocheting into the double crochet underneath it so that's what you want to do. So, same thing, chain up one, find your post. 
which should be skip one and the second one, but it has to match the post. So underneath the V, and that is our second row. Chain one, find our post, and double crocheting into that double crochet post. So this is how it looks like. We want to continue now all the way to the end. This is the pattern that we're going to be using, making as many rows as we like until you desire the length of your shawl. So just keep going. You can go as short as long as you like using the same pattern. I've come to the end of the row, which I think should be enough of a length. And at this point, I think I want to just go ahead and measure to make sure that I have the desired length. So to do that, now that we're at the end, we want to just pull the yarn through to give ourselves a nice space. So it's not going to untangle when we measure and take our crochet hook up. Once you achieve your desired length, you want to measure. So to do that, we're just going to drape it around us. And you should fit. There we go. And now do you know how we started with the double? We want to finish with the double. So let's just go do that right now. I've turned my work around, reinserted my hook, and I'm going to be chaining up three and double crocheting into every single chain or the V into the V to get the double crochet. And you know how this is a hole here, so we can't go underneath the V. We're gonna have to go into the chain and to make it uniform, go into the same way into every single one. So skipping the first one, we are gonna go into the second and double crochet. And double crochet into every single V. Going in the same way underneath. So we're going right into our V's. And yes, it is tight, so just take your time and work your way in. There we go. Because there's no hurry. Take as much time as you need, especially starting off and this part finishing. It gets a bit tight at times. Now that I've come to the end of the row, I want to show you how I finish it. Um, here is where we chained up those four on our turnaround, so we have to make sure that we leave one, two, so therefore I have one more here to finish. And that completes that end. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go along this edge, and this will be our long edge. To do that we're just going to simply turn this way and chain up three. One, two, three and again double crochet into every single one underneath our stitch and we're going to skip the first one like we always do on our turn around and going in there and double crochet. There we go and into the next one. And into the next one. It's always difficult whenever you do the single one that's not underneath the post. So you kind of just have to work your way in there. And I just want to show you how the turnaround looks. So there's our square. If you can see that. But we went this way and now we turned around and we're going this way along the long side all the way to the end. So I'm nearing the end of my row. Just got two more stitches. So this is my joining. So I got this one left. And if you look at this, this is my little corner and this was our little hook here. And because this is double crochet but there's single space, we don't want to leave any. So we just want to leave one for height to take us there and this one to finish off the corner with. So this will be our finishing corner. There. 
and we have a perfect corner. So we're done. So I'm just going to snip the yarn here. And hook it up and pull it through. And tighten it. And that's our corner. After you cut it, you want to weave it in. You can do that just along the edge. Like this. And just kind of weaves in like this and nobody can tell. So just go ahead and finish it. So lay your work flat on the table. This is the sides where we double crocheted all the way around. And this is the unfinished side. So take some yarn now so we can finish it. Take some yarn and do a double, double it over. And that's what the size you want to cut. So any color will do. I've already, I chose black and I pre-threaded it. So we want to sew starting in a double crochet. Just put it right in the hook here and go into each hole. So just thread it all the way through. Only takes a second. I'm coming to the end here and I want to get the last one. So make sure even if you end here that you bring it in through the double crochet because we need that to pull it. So I could actually do it here. And there we go. So now that this is done, even it out, take your, your needle out and put a knot in it. So to do knot, remember how we did the um, slip knot, do it the same way, only we slip it through. But it's just ordinary knot. You can double knot it or single knot, whatever you like, and then you can either cut it tight or you can just kind of fluff it out. And do this both, both ends. This is how the finished product should look like. And uh, you can pull it if you want. You can tie it up. Or you can just leave it loose, whatever you like, or put a brooch in there. Or you can buy those stoppers. You know how you have those stoppers and you can just... Or you can combine it with the back and wear it as a little shoulder. Just you take this string, you combine it with the one in the back. You take your string, you pull it through, and you feed it through the front again, the top one again, and you pull it tight. And there you go. And it makes a nice little shoulder cover-up.